Leicester Square for this, the UK premiere of Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald! Tonight we are going to be welcoming some of the biggest stars and filmmakers in the world who in turn have taken on some of the most iconic characters in the wizarding world to our lovely blue carpet. So, if you're ready, this is who is joining us this evening. We have director David Yates coming down the carpet. Johnny Depp will be here. Jude Law is joining us. William Nadelam, Claudia Kim, Callum Turner, Zoe Kravitz will be here. Ezra Miller is joining us this evening. Alison Sudol will be here. Dan Fogler, Catherine Waterston, Eddie Redmayne. The woman behind the Wizarding World, Scarlett J.K. Rowling, is coming to the UK premiere of Fantastic Beasts: The Crimes of Grindelwald. Byproduct of doing something extremely selfishly. You know what I mean? So, like, I think artists, I think inherently, you work with the the silhouette of your own being. Um, but then, what's beautiful is that when something becomes personal enough. Uh, people can connect to it, like what J.K. Rowling does for us. She works from a place that is that is deeply personal, that I think it comes from her in a way that's so authentic, and that makes it something to which everyone can relate. This is the angle I would prefer to talk to, uh, the way you're holding the mic. Uh, listen, I'm here for it. Well, look, a lot of people love Credence, a lot of people love you, and we're very excited to see this movie. So, Ezra Miller, thank you so very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Eddie Redmayne, hello, welcome to Leicester. Thank you, how are you doing? I'm great, but I'm sure you'll feel a little bit better than me because all these people, they're here for you, man. It's Eddie Redmayne! It's not an adrenaline like it, I've got to say. It's amazing to be here in London. How excited are you for people to see the rest of Newt's story? Do you know, I, when I finished the first film, we have to sort of wait for a year or two to see what the next stage is going to be, and we're there sort of overexcited with anticipation, and when the script arrived, I just read it once, I stopped, I took one breath, and then I read it all again. It's the most filled, joyous, dark, wondrous things. I can't wait for the world to see it. And that is the perfect way to describe this movie, which we cannot wait for people to see. Eddie Redmayne, I will let you be adored by some more people. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. See you later. Weird and wonderful. Welcome to Leicester Square. I've been coming here all my life. Down the road. Well, you look, you're a London boy having a wonderful time in your city celebrating this movie. How excited are you for the fans to see it? The fans of the books and the movies. Well, that's the last and most important piece. You know, keeping the secrets, making the film, and now giving it to the fans. That's the most important piece. I'm very excited for them to see it. Was part of your reason for taking this role uh, to impress your kids? Because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Kudos points. Uh, that and the fact that I got to investigate and play a guy who we all love and whose past we've heard about, read about, but not always seen. So, what an opportunity. What an opportunity. Well, Jude, thank you so very much for uh, having a little chat with us. And we can't wait to see this film. Jude, Lord, if you want enjoy it, I hope. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> Newt's gone away and he comes back and she's engaged to his brother, Theseus. Yes, she is. Yes, yes she is. She is. <laughs> and when you get a script, and this is character, Leeds Lestrange, written by J.K. Rowling, what's it like for you bringing that character to life? You know, it's easy and hard at the same time. It's easy because Joe writes such deliciously wonderful characters that you really want to see. What's it like walking down the carpet of the premiere? You guys are amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, their love and support means so much to me. And 
you know, I'm so nervous to be standing up here looking at them. But this is an amazing view. I'm so happy to be here. And into the, the Wizard of the World. Is, 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 is Jude Law coming back down the side? Um, I don't know. Monumental sort of welcome um, a beast to, uh, to sort of, uh, yeah, investigate. But I, uh, I was very, very happy that, that uh, very I don't think he beyond is. happy that uh, JK, David, and the two Davids. Uh, um, Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. And me for the film. And to give them the welcome here. Um, Thank you so much for being so kind and so loving and so excited. It's wonderful. Now, I know you love the character Queenie. Um, tell us what it was like coming back to that role for this film. I do love her very much. Um, I love that I get to play a magical empath. I mean, <laughs> there's no greater role I could imagine in this. Um, and to come back to it, it was a beautiful experience coming back to the, the, the cast and the crew and the familiar, you know, the sets and things like that. But this, this, this role, this journey is, is quite different this time around and it really challenged me and made me go deep down into my gut and 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 look at things that I was scared to look at for her and uh, it was it was quite a challenging experience but a really beautiful one ultimately well it's brilliant having you back as Queenie ladies and gentlemen Thank you. for the moment Alison Sudo <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she's the reason we're all here. Let's hear it for J.K. Rowling. <laughs> J.K., lovely to see you here. Thank you. Um, obviously, there are fans, and then there are fans of the Wizarding World. What's it like walking down the carpet and meeting so many of them? It's amazing. Seeing everyone wearing their Hogwarts colours after all these years, it's an amazing thing. I love it. They're all very excited to see the movie. And for you, uh, writing this movie and also bringing back Hogwarts, which yeah. is a huge emotional moment for fans. Of course. How important was it to have that in this film? Well, it, we had to go to Hogwarts because that's where Dumbledore is. And he's kind of important in the Fantastic Beast story. So yeah, we had to go back there. I wasn't sorry to go back, it was beautiful. It's an incredible moment in the movie. Yeah. And obviously Dumbledore is brought to life uh, by just a wonderful performance from Jude Law. It's, yeah, he's extraordinary. I couldn't have wished for better, he's amazing. What was it like sort of, I guess, giving him a crash course in Dumbledore, this character that you've created? Oh, I told Jude more than anyone knows except me. Jude knows a lot now, yeah. And in terms of just some of the new additions to the cast, and also just watching, uh, you know, the cast from the original film, sure. Eddie Redman, everyone bringing your words to life. What's it like for you sitting down to watch these actors bring the characters into the Wizarding well, World? Well, I mean, it's insane. You can see all of their pictures down this blue carpet. And uh, we've, we're just so lucky. I mean. All of them, they're just staggeringly good actors. We've been really privileged to work with this cast. I love you too. And obviously, uh, you can sense the excitement. Just how excited should everyone be when they finally get into the cinema to watch Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald? Well, they shouldn't leave early, is all I'm gonna say. I think you know why. <laughs> it's very true, and I, I just, I mean, the, your title character here, Grindelwald himself, yeah. Johnny Depp, what a performance. It's an amazing performance, and he's, he's really nailed the character because this isn't Voldemort, as you know, this is a very persuasive, even a strangely likable villain, uh, which is what makes him so dangerous. Yeah. And as well as uh, the performances, the spectacle that uh, you and, of course, David Yates have created in this movie, the carriage chase that we see in the trailer. Yes. What's it like writing those and then seeing David bring it to life? Well, I was actually there when we filmed that carriage, part of the carriage chase, so I was, I'm was i sitting slightly off screen watching it. Um, it, it. I mean, look, you write these things, 
and uh, you, you do have moments sitting alone in your writing room where you think, wow, they're going to do this. <laughs> you know, you write these insane things and yeah, they do it and they make it even better than you imagined it. So it's, a, it's as I say, it's a privilege to work with people who are talented. I, the whole production is it, full of incredibly talented people. Before I let you go, do you have a message uh, for the fans here in Leicester Square and everyone else no, watching at home? Uh, who is that? Well, all I, all I want, all any of us want, is that you is for you to enjoy the movie. We uh, we're proud of it. We who is that walking? Here? We just hope you like it. Yes. First up, make some noise for producers David Heyman and Lionel Wigram and director David Yates. <laughs> Joining the world of Fantastic Beasts, give it up for some of the cast. William Nedlium, Claudia Kim, Callum Turner, Zoe Kravitz, and of course, playing Albus Dumbledore, Mr. Jude Law. <laughs> Let's hear it now for the returning cast. Make some noise for Johnny Depp, Ezra Miller, Alison Sudol, Dan Fogler, Catherine Waterston, and Eddie Redmayne. And great to have you, David. Would you like, oh, sorry, and finally, the woman. The reason we're all here. Make some here. noise for the one and only J.K. Rowling. So they might all come back down and start signing again. Because. <laughs> yeah.